everyone. So it's been a little longer than I wanted to for the new video here. Um, but I wanted to go over, first of all, what, uh, what I've got in terms of parts now since the last video. And uh, let's just jump right into that. So first, uh, I got a new workbench. Well, I built one. Definitely needed it. It's a little more sturdy than the last. So first and foremost, we have our new laser cut compressor discs. So this one is the, this one's first stage. I've got second in my mount here for twisting and we'll get to that part after, but um, I've also got some quarter inch thick mild steel um, basically middle supports where we bolt in either side so that when we bend these the middle section here stays flat which is important because we're going to be mounting spacers between the two um, stages now this is the the last this is what we saw in the last video the the test the test things this one still hasn't had anything done with it so here we've got the second stage in the mount so this is one eighth inch inch thick like i said last time so it's pretty hard to bend so i got some of these made What I'm going to do with them is I take one, put it on the bottom, put one on top, bolt through that first hole. Now the second hole, so it's going to work, stack. Second hole, you got a laser pointer. It's going to go through. Well, it'll stay once it's in there. It'll go through. And then it's going to point down here, maybe something like that. Now, when the when the piece turns, it's this is going to turn too. So we're going to mark off. We're going to put some paper down there and mark off where we need to uh, where we need to stop for each blade, so that we can get it pretty precise in terms of the angles. Now. Okay, so we have our thing hooked up here, our turning mechanism. So we have a one inch threaded rod, three feet long. Now this goes into here. So when we turn it, it will be a lot easier to to do it this way. Now the middle hole, like, like I said, uh, laser pointer goes in it. Okay, so we have our rig set up here with our laser. Now we're gonna try and turn this. We've got it set, we've got everything set. 25 degrees so the other the line over here this line or this crosshair we're aiming for that to get to, the, to get the laser there now I'm not sure what the best way to do this is whether it's one hand on top one on the bottom and twist but we'll test this so we got to keep this laser along this center line best as we can. This is a lot easier than before with just twisting. Okay, so got a ways to go here. This is just resting, so now the metal bends back slightly, so we've got we're 
a little over halfway, so we're going to have to overbend this. So this is going to have to go pretty well beyond. Hopefully, yeah, we're just a little bit over. So we'll try, try to bend it back. Actually, no, we're right on. Right on the money. So we're now going to bend the second blade. Now, we didn't learn too much from bending the first blade. I mean, pretty much as I expected it's difficult to keep it on keep it online that's definitely that's for sure so center to know right, let's start bending so we have to go quite a ways past Quite a ways past our line here. To get it to stay at our. Okay, so I think I have this process down pretty pat, so I'll go through and uh, do a couple blades, but I'll, I'll make it fast forward in the end so that uh, you can see what this. Uh, process from start to finish is getting a blade, getting a blade all twisted up. Okay, so stage two is done in terms of blade bending. Turned out pretty good. Center seems like it stayed perfectly flat. Blade profile, their initial profiles are pretty good. So next video should be up in a couple weeks. Uh, hopefully by then, 
stage one. Actually, I don't really know why I did stage two before stage one, but stage one's blades will be turned or bent. Stage two, hopefully all of the blades will be completely done in terms of their airfoil shape. Actually, when I say airfoil shape, I mean the leading and trailing edge um, shapes. These actually need to go through another bending process. Uh, which I have not figured out how I'm going to do it yet. Probably going to need more laser cut parts with a with a proper airfoil profile and then just stick it in the press because as it is, these are not exactly airfoils. I mean, there's a very nice contour here that would be an airfoil, but when you get up here, it's flat. So... The trailing edge needs to be pushed down, so it's got to be more like, and then the, the leading edge also needs to follow this, this, I don't know if you can see it, this, um, this profile here. So the whole, we got to make each blade basically like the root, which is what it should be in terms of the airfoil shape. So that should be next to figure out what we'll do with that. But um, I thought about possibly making these and then selling them to uh, kind of fund this project. So if anyone would be interested in that, definitely be willing to to at least look into it to see if see if it could be something that would be done or could be done. So until next time, thanks for watching.